free plus shipping funnel is essentially you're giving a low ticket product or something that you know is fairly low ticket for free and all they do is they cover the shipping and handling. Um, it's an attractive offer to the buyer because basically they see it as a free product um, and you know all they do is cover shipping and handling. And what they do, what you're doing in that you know process of you know finding a product that's fairly cheap and you're giving away um, and only covering shipping and handling is you're using the shipping and handling amount to cover your ad spend. So you want to liquidate your ad spend so you can acquire customers relatively cheaply. Um, and then you know you're not looking to make a profit on this. It's simply looking to break even so you can acquire customers. Um, people who are actually paying, you know, they're paying for their shipping and then you can sell them things in the future. So you just want to start acquiring customers. That's the goal of a free plus shipping funnel. Um, it's not to make a profit on the front. And then what you can do is after they've purchased, say, you know, you're giving away. So I had a friend who, you know, we worked on a funnel and he was giving away golf balls, you know, for the golf market. Did a free plus shipping funnel, you know, a box of six golf balls. Um, it's completely free, nine ninety five shipping and handling. Um, so he sent traffic on Facebook ads straight to the box of golf balls. Um, and you know, nine ninety five, and I think you know it costs him maybe three or four dollars to actually buy the product from China. And a really good way, I'll probably talk about it later, is you know buying things from China like Alibaba.com, AliExpress.com. Um, you know, really cheap uh, ways to buy these you know products that you're using. And then it's essentially costing about four or five dollars to you know buy the product and send it out. Plus, I think three or four dollars to acquire a customer. So you know, he was breaking even at nine dollars, um, and you know, the shipping was nine ninety five. So had a little bit of a margin. You know, he wasn't even aiming for that. But if you can get it break even, you're doing really well. So, you know, he was acquiring all these customers, giving away free golf balls. Um, you know, it wasn't costing him anything. And then on the next page, uh, I, th I can't remember what he sold. He sold this. It's like a it was a little thing where you. It's obviously I'm not a golfer, so I'm probably explaining this wrong, and I'm going to butcher the story. But you put it to your eyes. It's like a little telescope, and it tells you how far away the hole is when you're playing golf. So he was selling these things. Uh, I think it was like $79 or $99. And a percentage of the people who bought the previous offer bought this one. Uh, I think it was 5 to 10%. And, you know, if you're selling a $100 product or a $150 product, something like that it was, um, and 10% of the people that you send through um, purchase it straight away, you know, that immediate time after they buy the golf balls, then, you know, you're adding your, your, your cost, the, sorry, your average cart value, the amount of people that spend money at that time of purchase um, starts increasing, you know, so you can afford to spend more to acquire a customer and then, you know, send them through that funnel because they're spending more with the upsell, if that makes sense. Um, so that's what he was doing. And then he had another upsell on the second upsell was, um, I think buying another one of those same products, um, at a discount. So, you know, if you buy two of them, we'll give you the next one for 99 instead of 149 or something like that. And again, another, you know, two or 3% probably took that offer. So you keep extending the average cart value. So you can say that, you know, the average person spends, you know, $20 going through this funnel. If I can find someone and acquire that customer on Facebook to, you know, go through it for say $5, then you're in profit. Um, and that's the goal of this. And then long-term, you know, you've got these people on an email list as well. So it doesn't have to just stop there. 